Welcome back, everybody, to You Can Handyman, where if I can do it, you definitely can. So what we're talking about is a transformer on your electric golf cart. If you watched my last video on how to work, hook up an electric windshield wiper on your golf cart, I had mentioned that you're going to need a transformer if you're running an electric golf cart. Uh, you can't just hook up the power to one of the batteries. It's no good. So if you didn't see the uh, electric windshield wiper uh, video, I suggest checking it out. There's not much on there. There's a lot of... Uh, you know, do-it-yourself windshield wipers where you're turning with your hand, not so cool. Uh, I put one in and uh, I go through that with you. So definitely check it out, it's a good video. So let's get into this video. But first, uh, grab your favorite flavor of adult beverage and uh, take a sip and let's get started. So, transformer. So I think this one, uh, to my knowledge, is running 48 volts. If you go ahead and hook up your windshield wiper, your stereo, your lights to one of these batteries, you're pushing 48 volts into it. You can't do that. You need to put in a transformer. So this project's already complete. Um, but let me show you how I wired it up. And I will also try to get in the description uh, where I got these from on Amazon. They're very inexpensive. I want to say under 20 bucks. Uh, I'll try to get you all that information also. So, let's get started. So there's the plug for the windshield wiper. You know, it's going down in the tube and there's the windshield wiper motor. You know, I have a plug, you know, when I took that out of a uh, vehicle. Um, which I suggest you do at a pick and pull. Just make sure you save that plug. But anywho, so I have that wired in and I also have this wired in, which is just like a little uh, USB charger, uh, two of them. I have that wired in so far too. So what you need to do is you need to get that guy right there and let me focus that up. And that's your transformer. How do you hook it up, you say? Very simple. So, coming out of the transformer, you got a black and a red, and you got a yellow and black. So, the black and the red, I ran up over to this battery because the guy, when I bought it from the golf cart, he said, hook up your transformer over on this side. I'm thinking maybe because these batteries are the first in series, so I have the positive here, and I have the negative on this one right back here. That's how he told me to hook it up on this one. Um, maybe you should do a little investigating on your golf cart, how they suggest uh, wiring it up. I would think that you could put it on any one of these batteries, but I, I'm not positive with that. But this has been working great for me. So, you know, if you have the same setup, which is the four battery setup, there, and then the negative on the one back there. So that comes around and goes into the transformer. Coming out, you have your yellow and black. What I did is I ran the yellow on the positive side, the black on the negative side into this fuse block. And then I have my extras coming out of that fuse block because then you have the extra protection of a fuse in case you mess something up. So coming out of this fuse block is going to this, which that looks crazy, right? Well, it comes wired up like that. All you're doing is you're plugging into the bottom um, to get that, this, you know, it's got two plugs down there in the bottom, which you can't see, which puts power to all this. And then you'll have your positive from the uh, windshield wiper, um, one going to the negative block, and then one, and then your positive going to the switch you want to use, which I installed this, which is this right here. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. So that's this. So I cut a hole in the golf cart, I drilled, you know, <clears throat> measured the size on the back, I drilled four big holes with just a big, big drill bit, like a half inch drill bit, and then I took my grinder with a metal cutting blade on it actually, and just slowly ground it out, going from each hole all the way around, fitting just right. So I have, this shows the speedometer 
which this controls this USB charger, which the speedometer is plugged into. And I will get you information on that because that works really good and uh, it's nice to have. And then this is just charging my little Bluetooth radio. Okay, so that's what this switch is doing. This one here. This one is the windshield wiper. So that's working a windshield wiper. This one is doing nothing. Now, I went kind of the cheesy way and just plugged in my bottom lights into that because I got these lights for like five bucks at TJ Maxx. They're really indoor lights you're supposed to put behind your TV or whatever. They were only five bucks. I said, what the hell? I'm gonna throw them on the golf cart. I didn't hardwire them because I just didn't think that they would last. You know, that's why I have this cheesy tape and whatnot, but they're lasting. They've been on there for quite a few months and it comes with this remote and you can change the colors and all that. And uh, you know, last time I was at TJ Maxx, it was about a month or so ago, they still had them there for like five bucks. And you could cut these to length and uh, change the colors on them and all that. And they've really been working good. And at night, they are pretty darn bright. So, um, anyways. So, power out of the transformer to your battery. Two power leads, negative and positive, to this fuse box. This fuse box then fires up your switch box. You know, and then on the other side of the switch is where you're gonna plug in the positive from your windshield wiper, whatever it is that you are doing. So here's one, the negative to the block, the positive um, to the switch. And that's how that works. Then I have another negative here with a positive going to the switch. So this one is the speedometer, negative to the block, positive to here. And then this one is uh, switch is negative to this block, positive to the windshield wiper. I know it looks really confusing and crazy, but it's really not that bad, guys. Just take your time, and I'll try to get you all the links uh, on where I got all this stuff. And it does have a cover, if only I knew. Oh, it's right there, dummy. And this has a little cover you could put on it. And then that way, you're a little bit more protected. I believe all I did, guys, is I, I just cleaned uh, the plastic really good and two-sided. This one I screwed down. This one I think I two-sided taped. Uh, this one I screwed down, but it's really hanging on there pretty good for two-sided tape. Um, that's how other videos showed to do it. So that's what I went with, and it's working out all right. So that's it. I'll get you the information on this, guys. Don't forget to go check out the uh, windshield wiper uh, motor project. And you can do this on your side-by-side -side razors, uh, things like that, because I've looked on YouTube since I, I lit, put this one up. I didn't even look to see what else was out there. I just looked. There's not much out there. And I'll tell you what, mine is probably the most functional one that I could find on YouTube right now. So I suggest... Uh, checking it out you know you can put that on your razor you can put it on your golf cart whatever and again i'll try to get you um all the links on the stuff i bought i'm still figuring this out but thank you and keep in mind this isn't the station's not going to be about golf carts you know i have uh a lot of other projects i'm on with cars around the house i was in uh heating and cooling for years so i'm hoping to show you guys uh, how to clean your furnace or, or get it working um, or your air conditioning you know it's it's just about you know trying to help you guys save some money you know because with the rate that everything is going up everything's everything's going up in price except for the only thing that's not going up is the pay right so it's just to try to help you guys save a couple bucks and I'm telling you go for it do these things yourself you might make some mistakes. I know I have made plenty, but it just feels great when you're all done. You're like, man, I did that myself. Um, and just go for it. 
you know it's not it's not as hard as you think it might be so thanks for watching guys uh I, if it was helpful give me a like um if you like the station follow me i'd appreciate it uh if not you know put in the comments i suck you know whatever i appreciate it guys peace i'll see you next time